A friend of mine said, I'm feeling stressed out. I'm not actually sure why I'm stressed. I just feel more stressed than normal. So hopefully it passes. One thing I will say is I have found that stress usually turns into another form of an emotion, resentment, anxiety, frustration, all kinds of different types of feelings. What I would like to offer today are some ways that I work through my stress. How do I know I'm stressed? One, I start to notice that I become less patient and less tolerant of things things and people. So it could be something as simple as waiting in a line to feeling like I can't understand why all these things are happening to me and it's all piling up and I kind of feel like I'm just like a general victim. And when I start to notice that, I recognize that I'm kind of living in a low, <laughs> low vibe state and that I need to do something about that before it turns into I say something I regret or it starts to build into an emotion that I don't want to have. Here are some of the things that I do to help me work through why I feel stressed. One, letting myself feel the emotions I feel. So I'll start in my journal by just writing down these are the things I'm feeling. I feel impatient. I feel like all these things are happening at the same time. I feel out of control and I'll just let those emotions sort of live on a piece of paper. I don't judge myself for it. It's just because between me and my journal and I put those out there. After that, I write down what are the things that I feel these emotions about. And so usually those are like scenarios, they're things that are probably a priority on my list that I'm working to tackle or I can't get to maybe and I feel anxiety that I'm not. I mean, one of them was just simply, <laughs> you can probably hear her, I'm sitting out on a patio trying to work today. Which I have a beautiful, lovely view and this is amazing and I love working from the road, but also the music was blasting at the pool. <laughs> And I happen to write that down, like music blasting, and I can't focus, it's really annoying. Then from there, I go back through that list and I address each one one by one. It might be something like a client of ours who is feeling like she needs extra support in this area, how can I address that? And so instead of adding that to my list of to-dos, I'll just tell myself, here's what's in motion to alleviate that. I can't fix everything right now, but here are the steps. And then there may be scenarios like that seem so little, but then they feel so big at the time, like the music blasting the pool, what can I do about it? I got on the phone and called the manager, let him know I was working for my room and asked him if he could kindly turn that music down. And I put my ear pods in and put on some relaxing spa music. And so I could say, okay, that's been remedied. So I'm really taking all the feelings that I have, the meanings I'm putting behind those feelings. A lot of times when we tease through all the things we're feeling stressed about, we realize that it's kind of one ball of like all these little things. And it's just a matter of like pulling them apart and working through them one by one. Some of them, I realized, oh, this was on my mind and I didn't even know it was on my mind. It had been buried so deep in there. And so I think just taking the time to let yourself like feel the field and then working through what are the actual action items and have I done everything in my control at this point? If you have, then you know you can check that off and know that in the bigger picture, all of it's gonna come together. Do this, I promise you, it will help you with your stress. Even really stressful situations that are legitimately stressful, you will at least honor those feelings for yourself and stop blaming yourself for feeling so overwhelmed. You probably have done everything you can and right now it's just a matter of waiting and letting it all take its course. So anyway, hope you're having an amazing week and hopefully this is helpful.